Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in San Diego, California. And you know, I've been doing these uh, videos, I've uh, been in the gun business for about 30 years. Pretty crazy, huh? And about 30 years ago, maybe 25 years ago, right in that ballpark, uh, I did a video on concealed carry. And one of the items that I featured in that concealed carry video was this holster that we're going to talk about. It is uh, what I call the world's best concealment holster. It's the uh, Gauco Royal Guard. It is uh, horsehide, and the concept is that the horsehide leather is denser than cowhide. And because it's denser, it has a more resiliency to your sweat. Yes, your sweat <laughs> and my sweat. And uh, it will last longer. Now, I bring that whole story up because 25 years ago, I bought one of these holsters and... I still use it today. It is that good, okay? And I've got it for my Glock uh, 19. Uh, so it is a fantastic holster. The, uh, the straps here are made of cowhide because this horse hide is so dense and so hard that it doesn't take the dye. So you, I mean, you can dye this and just, you know, it'll rub off because it doesn't imp penetrate. That's how dense this horse hide is and how strong it is. So what they did is they, you know, they, uh, they don't even try to uh, coat this because if they did, it would just come off on your pants or your shirt or whatever. But years ago, I suggested to them that they make the straps black. In fact, I actually started doing it myself and they eventually followed suit because I was wearing black jeans or just jeans themselves and a black belt and, uh, and they had uh, just tan straps. And I thought, well, gee, that's you know, too obvious. You can see those, but uh, uh, if they're black, they can't. So the, um, uh, they come now with the black uh, straps and the horse side itself and is inside out. It's got the rough side uh, there. It's got the smooth side on the inside of the holster. You can see that. So uh, the reason I'm giving you all, all this information is because this is, without a doubt, one of the best holsters you can buy for concealed carry. And there's a couple other reasons I'm going to tell you real quick. One, because it's leather versus plastic or Kydex, and we sell a lot of Kydex holsters, but because it's leather, it has a tendency to be much more comfortable on your body. Now, the, what I tell people is this. I always say to people, I say, look, you know, when you wear a, um, a leather holster, Eventually, the holster kind of forms itself around your body. With the, the body heat and the sweat, you know, it, it's kind of like uh, uh, a wallet kind of just gets a little softer. It doesn't get as soft with this horse hide, but it does, you know, certainly kind of mold itself a little bit around your body. So it's a little bit more comfortable. That said, the flip side is that the Kydex holsters, uh, they don't do anything except your body molds itself around it. <laughs> <laughs> so you put a Kydex holster on and you basically have a, a, a wear mark after a full day of that's where the holster was on your own hide, your skin itself. So uh, the, uh, the horse hide, uh, it is resilient, it's strong, but it does still, it uh, has a little pliableness to it and it is much more comfortable than a Kydex or plastic holster. So there's comfort is one. Two, the fact that it is made out of horse hide really just to me, that's what makes it because it will last you for a long time. Regular cowhide holsters, if you're in a, an environment where you sweat a lot, uh, you know, two, three, four years are going to be gone, ready to replace. Just like an old wallet, you know, it gets to be so flimsy because your sweat beats up on the leather. So I love this holster and I'm going to recommend it to anybody. If they said to me, hey, what holster do you think I should buy? I would say this right off the bat, without a doubt, because it lasts. It's more expensive than your cowhide holster, okay? It's harder to work with. The material's not as plentiful. But it will last. It'll last four, five, or six times as long as a regular cowhead holster. Okay? And so what we're going to look at today uh, are the, um, uh, the 43, the 43X, and the 48. And um, how they fit into these, uh, well, the world's best concealment holster. Uh, because it's a perfect gun for concealed carry. This being the 43 first. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, I'm going to drop the magazine. Uh, pull the slide back, and it's an unloaded gun. Now we can kind of look at it a little bit. There's no ammunition really in this room, much less on this table, much less on these magazines. So whenever you, you know, work with a gun, whenever you load a gun, uh, or, or, you know, like should I say, uh, do any maintenance on a gun, 
uh, we really don't want to have any ammunition uh, around, uh, especially when you're inside your house. So that's a good habit to have. So um, the 43 is a perfect gun for concealed carry, uh, super slim, smaller grip. Uh, it'll fit into uh, one of our uh, versions, one of our models of this uh, Royal Guard holster. And you're gonna notice what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, now this is a brand new holster, you know, brand new gun basically. Uh, and when I put it in, my thumb is gonna be on the back side of the, of the slide. That way I don't knock it out of battery as I put it in because it's gonna be tight. A lot of people always say, well, gee, it's really tight. See how it kind of has a little resistance there? You want to push it in. The goal is to cover the trigger guard, which it does, obviously, nicely. And it still holds the gun. The gun's not going to come out. It is a little tight here. So when you get a new holster, the objective is to get a wear channel going. So you want to put it in, seat it, and pull it out about 200 times. <laughs> obviously, working with an unloaded gun, uh, and uh, really just working the holster so that it, it develops that wear channel in there. And there it is. It's, like I said, it's tight. The nice thing about a leather holster, once it gets in there, it kind of can find itself, but it still comes out as you go. And the proper technique, again, is to put your thumb over top of that slide, keep your finger off the trigger guard, and seat it. All right? That's the 43. All right? And the 43 was, came out first, and it was uh, a, a big success. Uh, it's a 9mm single stack. It has six rounds. And we sell extensions, uh, a lot of them, that uh, give you uh, a bigger grip on that with the same package. Well, what Glock did is came out with the 43X. And it fits in the same holster because it's basically the same slide. However, the frame is different. So the slide's the same. And you're going to notice here on the frame, it's longer and a little bit wider, which gives you a more positive grip. All right? It just feels better because you have more meat on that gun. Again, I'll drop the magazine here. It's got the orange follower in this gun. Check the chamber, pull the trigger in a safe direction. Now, it also fits into the standard 43 holster because the slide is basically the same. It has a longer and a little wider uh, grip. And the same thing is true to get this out. Again, you want to work it in and work it out. Now, you'll notice it comes in silver, but we also have it available in black, all right? Silver being the uh, slide itself. So uh, this particular gun has then been married or, or with his sister, big brother, should I say, with a 48. So you'll notice that the 48, the frame is identical to the 43X. So the slide will fit either way. This slide just happens to be about a half inch longer than the 43X. Maybe about five eighths longer. So I'll lock it back, drop the magazine, make sure the chamber's empty, pull the trigger in a safe direction. Now, if you use the 43 holster with the 48, it's gonna stick out a little bit, which is okay, but not necessarily desirable. So, so Galco came out with the 48 holster. Same concept, now it fits flush, covers the trigger guard, it's a perfect situation. So there's really two holsters that we're you know, kind of promoting here. Uh, they are somewhat interchangeable. You, know, you could certainly put the 43X into the longer holster and it just wouldn't go all the way down. Just have a little bit extra room in there. Just like that. But then, you know, you're, you're kind of compromising yourself because you're, you just have more volume here than you need. And, you know, when you're carrying concealed, comfort is really important because if it's not comfortable, if it's bothering you, you're not going to wear it. After a while, it's just going to be, ah, i got to take it off. So, hence the smaller guns and the more comfortable holster is going to give you that all-day comfort carry. And really, this 43X or the 43 itself, either way, they're going to both disappear on your body. You put that in there, put that in a nice holster. Uh, this is an inside waistband holster. It just goes inside your pants, of course. Uh, once you get it situated and once you, you, know, you feel comfortable, it, it, it almost disappears. You forget you have it on. And that's the idea behind concealed carry. And of course, the, the, you know, the number one rule in a gunfight is to have a gun. So you, you carry concealed, 
just to have a gun. It's not a fast draw holster. It's not designed to outdraw anybody. It's just that you have the gun in case something happens. So here's two great options for your concealed carry. These are great guns. All three of these are great guns. The 43X, the 48, or even the standard 43. Uh, again, we do make the 43... X and the 48 in uh, both silver and black, uh, whereas the um, uh, the 43 itself is, is basically silver. Of course, we do have lots of different cool accessories for all of these guns. Magazine extensions, uh, extended controls, uh, new barrels, uh, pyramid triggers, uh, connectors, uh, all kinds of great stuff to make these even better. And for those of you who are going to carry concealed, you cannot go wrong with the world's best concealment holster. This is a holster you will have for the rest of your life. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego. If you're ever in San Diego, drop by and, you know, come in and test them. Try it for yourself. Or just order it online, and I know you'll be happy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.